Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tour. And today's tour, I'm gonna show you guys how to make what you see on the screen. So let's get straight into it. Them 20. After you do this, go to file, and then you want to go open. And you basically just want to get your screenshot. So I'm gonna choose this one, this one. Then I'm gonna choose this screenshot right here. So once you got your screenshots, you're gonna pick. You just want to get them. Take this off right here. Hit Control C. Come over here and hit Control V. And once you do this, just want to resize them. I'm gonna click on this and just bring it down to the size I want. And you can do this until you find the correct size. And I'm basically just going to put something like this right here. And like I say, once you get the size you want on here, you just want to hit that check mark at the top. And once you do this, we're going to go to P on our um, keyboard to go to the pen tool. And we're going to actually start cutting it out. And you just want to check around this whole thing. And I'm going to be back with y'all when I cut this out. Alright, so basically when we get to done, just connect the dots. I mean, when you get done, connect the dots, right click, make your selection, and then hit OK. You just want to go to this tool, right click, select inverse, and then you can hit Control J or you can hit this right here. It really don't matter, but I'm going to just hit Control J because I don't really got to change nothing up. After you do this, go over here, brighten some contrast, create a clipping mask of the brightness on it, and if I'm going too fast, you can just slow down the video, you feel me? But that's basically how it's going to look when you get done cutting it out. Next thing I'm going to do is come over here and get this screenshot. And what I'm going to do, um, Control C, and then come over here. And I'm going to just hit Control V. And then you just want to put it like, um, you see, move this over right here, probably over here. And you just want to put it somewhat like this. And then I'm going to put like some over here also. But you can put this over here, keep this right here. And we're going to put some right there then. So we're gonna basically do the same thing. Just make sure this is above. You can put this over the image also. Hit P on your keyboard and you just wanna start cutting out the whole thing. So when I get done, I'm gonna be back with y'all and tell y'all what to do next. So once you get done, just right click, make selection with this right here. And then you want to right click, select inverse. And I'm only doing that. Y'all ain't got to do that. But then you want to hit control J. And you can get your image cut out like so. Next thing I'm going to do is go down here and I'm going to cut this little panel out too. And I'm just speed all of the cutting out up. But if you want to like watch my other cut, because I got a tutorial specifically based on cutting out. If you want to watch that, I'm going to put that in the comment section. Or if you need it, just hit me up or go look for it on my channel. Either way, if you want it, hit me up. I'm going to give it to you. But just cut this out, and I'm going to be back with y'all when I get done. And believe it or not, that's literally going to be the closest thing that's being done with the thumbnail. You feel me? Because this ain't going to take too long. All right. So once you get done with this, right click, make selection thing. Same thing. Just right click. I got to select inverse, though. Y'all got to do that. The inverse control with J and then take that out and I'm gonna just cut this out real quick and like I said I'm gonna show y'all what to do next so boom 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 I click my selection the inverse then control X you feel me so we'll have something like that and go up here by some contrast for the clipping mask or the brightness on that then you wanna go down here, brighten some contrast, create a clip mesh, and you can hold the brightness on this also. Alright, so now that you have this, just hold control on them two, pick them, and put it below that. So once you put it below the image, I guess, like, I be missing with the brightness all throughout me doing it, but just, yeah, just do that again. Alright, so now that you have this, you wanna go to human saturation, colorize, uh, color you pick. It's really just up to you. Like, for example, if I pick purple, Cause I be missing on my code a lot. So if I pick purple, I just go to blend the options and now I go to outer glow, drop shadow, 
and shadow all this and i'm gonna show you the settings because i already got them on there but yeah you just pick something like this and a shadow boom that yeah okay right click copy the layer style come over here right click paste layer style and you can just do that and i'm gonna give y'all the psd for layer style i don't know if i'm gonna get for you for the image yet but layer styles yeah i'll do that so you just pick something like this right here and you really can mess with all this stuff but yeah that's how i have mine next thing i'm gonna do is go to file open and then i'm gonna bring some dots and i'm gonna get that to y'all in the description all right, so these will be the dots i'm using just something like this and i might switch it up later on but after i add my dots just go to brightness up here and add some like brightness to the image like that and then you want to go to vibrance and you just want to add some vibrance saturation to the image also but yeah just mess with this right here and like i said i got some other dots up in here too so i can switch it up or whatever but just pick whatever dots you feel like would be best i might switch it up on this right here but yeah but i'm gonna show you what to do next like i don't know why i keep saying the jump but yeah i'm gonna show you all right so next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in here and go to the uh ellipse tool hold shift and just drag this like this to make a big circle you feel me so after i make this circle just bring it over here and put it like something like this yeah something like that and then just put it above that and now what you want to do i got this image too and i'm just holding control c on it come over here control v create a clip mass on it and then yeah you just want to resize it until you get what you want in the image now you don't have to use a circle you feel me? i use a use circle a while back in my thumbnail but i'm just putting it on here because i feel like it fit good on here so just resizing it where you want to be and yeah something like that and then you can hit control e on it or you can group it and do the effects like that but i'm gonna just add a drop shadow to it an inner shadow and then i'm gonna add an outer glow and an inner glow well the inner glow you don't really have to add that but yeah i'm gonna just add these things right here you feel me probably load up past on the drop shadow and take down the size a little bit on that all right so after you do this Next time I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring in like the animated lines thing, and then go to file, open, and then just go to my packs and stuff, and go to effects, animated lines, and control C on this, come over here, control V, and I'm gonna bring that in. Mm -hmm. All right, so once you brought it in, just go on here, hit screen, and yeah, just put on the image however you feel like it'd be good. I'm gonna put mine on it like that. And I'm gonna lock it so it should look something like this. Next thing I'm gonna do, create a new layer, hit B, go to the color black, and then go around like that. Oh, yeah, Just go around, boom, until you got something like this. And you can put on soft light, then hit control J, put it on normal, and then do something like have like a fit looking like that. So, yeah, you can just do that for right now. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is add 2K22 logo, and I'm just gonna file, open, go get the logo. And I already got like some, for example, some people like this right here. And if you just wanna use this, you can hit Control C, come over here, and hit Control V, and put it in the image like so. But you feel me? I, sometimes I don't like to use this, but if you wanna use this one, you can, you feel me? But I'm probably not gonna use that one. So I'm gonna show you this one I'm gonna use, cause I'm make my own, and I'm gonna bring this in, I'm gonna get right into it. So what you wanna do is hit Control C on this, you want to come over here, hit control V, and then go to right click, blend options, and go to your scrope. And I'm going to just use this size also, rasterize your layer. And you just want to bring this below this. Make it bigger. And put it at the top of the image like so. Now, if you don't want to do this, obviously you don't. I'm just showing you how to make a simple thumbnail, so you don't have to follow every single thing I do. You feel me? Oh, yeah, drop shadow to this distance. Like that size capacity, and you just have something like that. All right, and for the circle, I'll go back down here, probably make it a little bit smaller, and put it somewhere like that. And right here in this little space, I'm gonna put some emojis and stuff on the dude inside of like a text box, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. I'll do that, you feel me? All right, so I got my text box, and I got this cut out, and obviously, I'm gonna put this in the comment section. Also, you just want to go over here, hit control V. And then I'm gonna go to file open, 
I got some emojis too, so I'm gonna open this emoji. Get the laughing emoji up out of here. And everything I use, I'm gonna put it like in the comment section. So control V, made it smaller. And I'm gonna put it in here like so. And yeah, just like this. And I'm gonna hit control E on it when I'm done. Make it smaller a little bit. About right there. And hold control while I'm doing this on the side. Hold control while I'm moving this on the side. Should look something like that. Hit control J on it when we're done with it. And flip horizontally. You can probably make this a little bit smaller too. And then you'll have something like this. Alright, so now that you got this, feel me. Like I always say, if you want to change the color, because I still like it, be so hard for me to pick a certain color. So I always usually, like, I just end up changing. But say if I just want to change the color to this. And I end up liking this because if I do end up liking a different color, I'm going to just use that and export it with that. But say if I like this color, for example, I'll go to Outer Glow, get this, and Inner Glow, and pick this. And if I didn't show y'all my sense, this is it right here. And you want to right click, copy this, and I might end up using this color because I feel like it goes better. Then, you got all that, go over here, right click, paste it. Uh, you have something like that. Alright, so now that you got something like this, up here with your dry shadow, if you want to make your dry shadow a little bit like better, feel me? Do something like this. Boom. Boom. Yeah, and just like that. So, once you got that, just hit control S on the image. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just naming Treasure Hunter BC. And I'm going to put BC YouTube in the comments such too so if you want i know he uploaded a video on this you want to go watch the video i'm gonna put that down though but yeah since you basically done because i told you it wasn't gonna be that much stuff but click on the first layer come all the way down your shift group everything then he control g he control j and then he control e and then convert to smart object go to m on your keyboard for marquee tool he control j again and after you do this this can convert convert that to a smart object also so you will have something like that all right, so now that you did all that, go to camera raw filter, and this is gonna be the first thing you wanna go to. All right, so now that you in this, feel me? I always pick my lucky number 57, feel me? I don't know what it is about 57. It, it look too good, but y'all know me. I be getting care about these presets, feel me? This one go hard too. But yeah, a lot of these presets do go hard, feel me? Tell me which number I should pick out of all the ones you've seen so far. If you get this far, nobody don't really be coming in no numbers, but I know somebody watching. But I'm not gonna really do no preset right now. I'm gonna do it for the thumbnail probably or whatever. But let's just say I don't, I, I, I can't use no preset because I ain't got them. First thing I would do if I were you, I just up the texture, do the contrast, because it still look good without preset. Don't get me wrong. Like that texture really be putting in work. You can do your highlights and your blacks. And yeah, yeah, put your whites too. And that's really all you gotta do. You can do grain too, but I mean, you rarely see people using grain nowadays. You can use it if you want to though, but I just have something like that. And then I go to Magic Bullet Looks, feel me? And to this, I pick Haze Flare. Some people like the Fusion. So if you wanna use the Fusion, those are the settings that I would recommend. Because I, I use them, you feel me? Haze Flare, that right there. Auto Shoulder, boom. And if you wonder how to actually get them, you just go over to the side, pick what you want. But yeah, and then this right here. This right here, a lot of people like to put this up high. I don't really like to put mine up high like that no more. I'll probably just put mine on 120. And then you click finish when you actually finish with it. When you finish with that. So yeah. What you wanna do after that, I'ma do Topaz Labs. While I'm waiting for a load up, I'ma go, yeah, I'ma do this. So Topaz Lab, boom my details some people like crisp i used to be a big fan of crisp you feel me do like he finna die on the image so I, I know you can lower the details too but i ain't really no big fan of topaz lab like i was before so i might not even add it on it to be honest but what you can do is hit control j go to filter blur gauge and blur then you go to lighter color and do like this and you should have something like that then you make a layer boom Boom, boom, boom. Let's see, boom, 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 oh, boom. 
But when, if you wonder what I'm doing, what I'm doing, I hold alt, click the color. I mean, I hold alt, click with the left key, and then get the color, and then just click regular. And then what I'm end up doing at the end, go to screen, and do that. And this is my brush over here. If you wanna know what I got, that's the brush I got. So yeah, you just have something like this. And that's basically how you make it. And we get done. Make sure you hit Control S, and make sure you go up here, file export, export as say it work, and not save it, but to export. And then you wanna click export again. These are my export settings. And once you click export again, just name it and just save the file. You feel me? Now what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm going to like go up in here, do it with the presets, and I'm going to speed up the process, you feel me? But when I get done with doing it with the presets, I'm going to show you what it came out to be like. And then I'm going to end the video on that note. Alright, so this is what I came out for it to look like and if you ever have a problem where your junk look a little bit too much like grim type of detail on it just go over here to filter noise reduce your noise and copy settings like that and you can just up the strength on it and it'll somewhat fix it if you control z you'll see that it fixed it a lot but first of all um yeah but this this one i came out with you feel me and I want to say, I think BC, like his BC, his designer, he got a similar style, this or whatever. So, shout out to him. Feel me? I'm just practicing. Feel me? I don't do thumbnails no more. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to me. But dragging, put my camera on one time. And I find it. Oh, John, I can't even find my camera. Being by dragging. If you enjoyed the video, peace out.